Okay, everyone, pretty cold here, and we're back to this character we got in the other two parts. I'm going to show you how to put his cloth back, cloak, whatever you want to call it, but we're gonna use another material. Okay, let's do this. So, go to create and get shapes, line. You, we don't want this perspective, we want this one because it's easier to work. So, let's get a rough. And that's basically a cloth. Line 1, which is our cape, make it a cloth and select some presets. I like using silk because it's silky. Oh. Okay, go in again, check if it's saved. It doesn't save sometimes, then it's annoying as balls. Okay, here we go. Add the human. You have human male HD or whatever it's called. As isolate vertices, I don't give a damn. Select him again. You should always deselect it and reselect it so you know. Give it collision object and always put the offset a little tad more like 07. I use 07 or 06 depending on the model and the action it's gonna do. Okay, let's check again. Here we go. There we go. So, let's make a test. Something just for funsies. I think it's small, but it doesn't matter right now. Put it above his noggin. <laughs> and simulate locally. Let's see what happens. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, erase simulation. Set initial state. Let's try again. And it should take his model. Here we go. It's kind of stiff, but it doesn't really matter that much. You got the idea? Okay, reset state. Let's move it to its final destination. Here. Try not to let it intersect with him. So basically there. So it's barely, barely touching him, but not quite touching him. You can get it to touch him, but I prefer not to. Go to cloth. And now you have all these dots. Select the ones nearest to him. Not all of them, because you don't want to look bad. Just select those. Make group. Doesn't matter. Call it what you want. And surface and click on him. Uh, I'm going to click here because I know the um, bipod is not here, so it doesn't miss click. And you can check it's correct by having humanoid here, human male. I always call it humanoid. And you're basically done. It should work. Let's get it back. Uh, set initial local. Nope, it didn't. Stop you, 
avatar. Said the angel a few times. Huh? Do it now? Yeah, there we go. There you go. Yeah. Eh, it clips a little. You can put the offset where I said 07. You can put it to 08 and it will avoid clipping. But you would may get some problems. Let's reset it. And animate this guy so you can see how you animate this. So try and find the bipad. Go here. Let's put him to move because these are the easiest to do. Ten steps. And animate. There we go. Now, let's see if he does move. Yes, he moves. Uh, where was it? I think it's 70. That's it. Uh, now, I don't remember something. Let's simulate locally first. Let it fall to its final destination, final position. No, no, wait. That much, but nah. Doesn't matter right now. If you wanted to scrape against something, the floor should be collision object, just like the human. Okay, let it go too far. No. Let's reset. Simulate locally. And stop it just before it hits him. There you go. That's good. Um, now, you want to... Let's see, it's 72... Two good bites. Forever. Let's simulate it. So it now will... Uh, it's going to imitate the... As you see, it did not clip this time. And when it's... Oh my god, stop. Stop. Sorry, sorry. Um, this guy has an animation from 72 whatevs. So let's rescale to that. And now simulate. Because I don't want it to simulate from... It's still doing it! Fuck! Oh well, never mind. It has no information there. And now we wait. That's basically what we do. Okay, so it's done. Let's play it. Let's get another angle. Okay, what? What just happened? Oh yeah, it stopped. Um, yeah, when I hit the simulated 173. So it simulated to around here. Why it stopped simulating, I can tell you because it clipped. And the, the cloth overstretched, I think, here. It overstretched here. It's because of the offset. If you put a bigger offset, it will not do that. It's... Hmm. It's a try-try thing. You try it a little more, a little less, and you get the picture. But it does look good. If you wanted it to wrinkle better, you could do this. Let's reset it. Let's go back. Reset everything. Here we go. And go to Garment Maker. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter right now. And increase this. Uh, please, please don't increase it too much. Because it's gonna kill your PC. Uh, that much. Do not try to do it more. You would say, wow, I got a strong PC. No, trust me, it's gonna blow your PC out. It's very reliant on your CPU, it's gonna kill it. <laughs> well, I, it's not gonna damage your PC, but it's gonna... Well, it's gonna work like hell. Okay, so basically that's it. And you can animate the guy, so the flow is this one. Animate the guy, then set up your 
your uh, cloth, your cape. Don't do it in another an order because you're gonna have problems. I did it and that sucks. So basically, animate your characters. When you're ready to render, put the cloth, animate the cloth, then render. Always before rendering. I don't mean if you render now, do it again, if you render again, no. If you change the animation on the character, any animation on the character that uses that cloth, redo the cloth. That's what I'm saying. That's quintessential, because it's gonna mess up. If you, if I edit the animation on this guy, it's not gonna coincide with the cloth. It's gonna tear through it, it's gonna, nah, you get the idea, guys. Okay, thanks for watching, hope you have a great time, and see you guys next time. Please rate, comment, and maybe subscribe, it kinda helps me. Okay guys, 